So in this update, we're going to take a look at the stepper motors that are going to be used in the force feedback system for the F-15. So let's get on that, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and start with the stepper motors, like I said. And that monster is one of the drives for the force feedback system. As you can see, it's not small. Um, the motor is overall about 110 millimeters long, and it looks to be 85 millimeters square. It's a standard, I believe, NEMA 34 form factor. Uh, this is the roll servo, the roll stepper. Um, I believe it was because of how it's built, it is in fact a servo motor. And the part of the control electronics is back here. Um, this is the roll motor. And if you want to look at the, I don't know if it'll focus on that, that's the specs for the uh, motor itself. That's the one motor. They arrived very well packed, which I am forever grateful for. They came a long way. And the other stepper motor is basically the same, but it's, it's for pitch. Uh, this is the electronics board that drives the whole thing, or one of the interfaces to it. You can see here, it's, there's not a whole lot to it. There's the VP Force logo on the bottom of that, and it's probably upside down, isn't it? Try it that way. I don't know, I can't see it well enough in the camera lens, so. And then we've got wiring for connecting to USB and to the servos and various connectors. The recommended power supply for this thing is a 24 volt DC power supply um, and it will be running both motors I think I talked about earlier or in the previous update about the system that I was going to, to need to build in order to drive this uh, force feedback system. And I wanted to give you a kind of a, an eyeball as to what that looked like. This is one of the drive gears. And uh, when it's set up, we'll have a thing like so, or in this arrangement. And there will be another one of these uh, sandwiched to it. And this is just a, a sample I made, but and there's no mounting holes or anything, obviously. Uh, but one face of it will be for the belt, okay? And then the other side will have an, another belt on it that will connect into the flight controls and a couple of turnarounds. Uh, and that's how that is going to interface in. And with that being said, um, Let's go take a look at where all this is going to go in the F-15. Okay, this is the avionics bay where I'm going to be mounting the motors. And the reason that this is my choice for the mounting of those motors is because this is where the flight controls are coming through the cockpit floor. If you look up right here, this right here is the pitch, or not pitch, it's the roll control. And over here is pitch, okay? And what I'm gonna do is mount plates here, one here and one here, okay? And that's where the stepper motors are gonna be mounted. And up in this area right here 
are is where the turnaround for the belts are going to uh, be attached. And what's going to happen is, is there, there will be an idler pulley here, and the belt will come up off of that large output gear on the stepper system, come around this, and go straight over uh, to that fork on the on the pitch control, and then the same thing with the roll mating in over here and then in this bay right over here apologies for the very bright light um, there will be turnarounds so the belt will come through here on the inside and come up and come around and attach over here to the back side of the roll and pitch controls So my task right now is to obtain a 3D scan of these areas in order to build good models uh, for how it's all going to get rigged together. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up so it can kind of watch what I'm doing and hopefully it'll be interesting. Okay, now with some tracking dots, I think. Probably help me. You can see those, but that's what the, the tracking dots look like. They're basically little retroreflective dots. These lights may be too bright, so I may have to do something different in this area. This is all guesswork on my part. Okay. I guess we're ready to go then. Let's create a new project group. Let's see if I can't make this thing work. I'll try turning these lights off and see if that helps it at all. Hmm. Actually, probably doing okay. Slightly reddish in the camera. Window. It's going to complain. I'm going to set it down, but I wanted to aim the, the camera at. Uh, at what I'm doing because I think you guys would just find this interesting as hell. Whoop. Let's go up this way. There we go. And the idea is to keep it in that green area in the side. It's catching the features I think I need it to catch. Which makes me happy. And the tracking dots are helping it do what it needs to do. Oh, you're kidding. The software just crashed? Really? Okay, let's try this nonsense again. You saw how the scan process worked, so now you get to see it from this standpoint. Okay, piece of junk. Let's try this again. And we have to adjust brightness, and we've already adjusted brightness. So.
and we are scanning. It makes that sound when it's lost its little mind and it can't tell where anything is. This is not easy. Uh, I'm gonna have to add some more tracking objects, I think, or tracking dots on the inside in the ceiling to be able to catch this stuff. It's like you get a dot and you get a dot and you get a dot. Everybody gets a tracking dot. Okay. Now can you see the tracking dots, you little monster? Is there only one of them? There's two. There you go. See what you need to see. Figure your shit out. I'm not gonna lie, that's really kind of cool. <laughs> Come on, little buddy, find your, find your dots. Sit it down, take a look at it. Let's see how I'm doing here. So I've got that part and that part and that and that and I got that surface and that's enough because I can put a plane on that in fusion and get it to work. That's what I was after. Let's see if we can't get some of that red to go away. I was hoping to see some improvement in there, but. It annoys me that it loses tracking when I can see in the camera window like a dozen marker dots. Well, I'm hoping that's enough because my ass is done. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pause the scan. There's front. Um, yeah, that's really wrong. That's the back. That's the back side of it. Oh yeah, it's all, it's all forked up, isn't it? We nailed that shape though, didn't it? That's neat. Okay.
Yeah, that looks good. Wow, I've been at this an hour. Got more bits. Cool. Ugh. What a mess. Okay, can I orient this thing? Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and create a point cloud. Oh, you're kidding me. Did it at least save all that shit? It says release candidate. Probably shouldn't have been. You bet it's trying to load a corrupted file. Oh, holy crap, it finished loading. And it trimmed, it saved the trimmed plane. Looks like I got geometry that I needed. Let's try generate point clouds again. Got a GTX 40 or an RTX 4090 in the machine. It should not take that long, or take long at all. But who knows? Okay. Well, I guess I'm not getting a scan out of this thing today. Error code 12, huh? Thanks, Einstar. I appreciate it. So. Let's uh, flip this thing around. How you doing, folks? You see how it went? It's over 82 degrees in the workshop right now. I'm tired. I'm more than just a little pissed off. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to find, figure out a way to get the scan done. But right now, that's where it stops. Thanks for watching.